June 7. The reading is entitled, Laborers Together with God. For we are laborers together with God. Ye are God's husbandry. Ye are God's building. 1 Corinthians 3 verse 9. The Holy Spirit must be the living agency to convince of sin. The divine agent presents to the speaker the benefits of the sacrifice made upon the cross, and as the truth is brought in contact with the souls present, Christ wins them to himself and works to transform their nature. He is ready to help our infirmities, to teach, to lead, to inspire us with ideas that are of heavenly birth. How little can man do in the work of saving souls, and yet how much do Christ if they are imbued with his spirit. The human teacher cannot read the hearts of his hearers, but Jesus dispenses the grace that every soul needs. He understands the capabilities of man, his weakness and his strength. The Lord is working on the human heart, and a minister can be to the souls who are listening to his words a savor of death unto death, turning them away from Christ, or, if he is consecrated, devotional, distrustful of self, but looking unto Jesus, he may be a savor of life unto life to souls who are already under the convicting power of the Holy Spirit, and in whose hearts the Lord is preparing the way for the message which he has given to the human agent. Thus the heart of the unbeliever is touched, and it responds to the message of truth. We are laborers together with God. The convictions implanted in the heart and the enlightenment of the understanding by the entrance of the word work in perfect harmony. The truth brought before the mind has power to arouse the dormant energies of the soul. The Spirit of God, working in the heart, cooperates with the working of God through his human instrumentalities. Again and again I have been shown that the people of God in these last days could not be safe in trusting in men and making flesh their arm. The mighty cleaver of truth has taken them out of the world as rough stones that are to be hewed and squared and polished for the heavenly building. They must be hewed by the prophets with reproof, warning, admonition, and advice that they may be fashioned after the divine pattern. This is the specified work of the Comforter, to transform heart and character that men may keep the way of the Lord. Amen. The grace of the Lord Jesus Christ be with you.